Yeah, it's a great day, peeps, and I'm glad to be here with you again. And today, I'm going to be talking about fear and guilt. You know, this fear and guilt is something serious that has crippled the minds of so many human beings and has really led so many to depression and from depression to suicide. And I'm going to be talking about this and how we can transcend these limitations. Now, you see, too many human beings have been crippled either with fear or guilt. Now, this crippling of human beings in the name of religion, you know, have made them to feel guilty about their own existence. Starting with being born in sin, the nature of their biology, and even the making of their body is seen as sin. You know, I find it path pathetic how we time people dealing with wet dreams, which, which is just a biological thing and a sign of growing up in, in young people, you know, we term such things as sins and we even tell them that um, w w whenever they have such, it means they are having connection with some spiritual wife or husband or stuff like that. And you know, we, we keep destroying people, you know, people contending with masturbation. We, 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 fall, we fail to let them realize that it is just them reacting to their biological nature. The body must re react biologically. We are biological beings, we, you know, but we keep telling everything to be evil, to be bad and to be sane, thereby crippling the human mind, crippling the human beings, crippling productivity, crippling, you know, a whole lot. And this is very sad. This is very sad when it comes to religion. This is so sad. Now, if you feel guilty about your existence, how will you evolve and flourish in this life? You know, why won't you get depressed and resort to suicide? Not only do you fear hell and the devil, but you also become very, very, very God-fearing. Very God-fearing. You know, you fear the creator, the source of creation, the source of you. <laughs> How will you evolve? How will you engage and enjoy this wonderful life? This awesome and sweet and beautiful life. If you, 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 are, you even fear your own creator. Do you understand? It is meant to be loved and respected, but not to be feared. A parent hated and feared by his or her children withdraws. It is no wonder God is watching from a distance. You see, fear, guilt, depression are all negative emotions which doesn't breed ease. But instead, it only breeds this ease for the human being. Now, to experience absolute freedom, absolute ease, bliss, joy, and a vibrant health. It's time to go beyond religions, to go beyond guilt, fear, mental prisons, and belief systems into the realm of freedom, the realm of divinity, the realm of the divine, through your infinite self. You understand? Through your infinite self, it's time to look inward. You have everything there. You have everything you have the bliss, you have the ecstasy, everything. You just need to uncover what is already there. You need to just look inward with in, in all humility and um and um and um sincerity. You know, it's time to be thy God self so you can evolve, which is the existential purpose of every human being, and so you can also flourish into a thing of beauty with boundless splendor in this existence. I hope you get this point. I thank you so much for being there. And um, until I come your way again, be aesthetic, be blissful, be, 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 be joyful. Bye.